Hi, Michelle here from the Traveling Epicurean. Today's menu is zucchini torta. I'm excited about sharing this recipe here with you today because it's one of my top search recipes that comes in from the internet and one of my most viewed pages. It's a family recipe. It's a torta, not a frittata. There's a difference there. A frittata is made with a lot of eggs. This is only made with two eggs, sauteed zucchini and onion, lots of parmesan. We bake it and then you could have it as a side or an appetizer. It's really delicious. You're going to love this. Come on, I'm going to show you how to get going on that torta large eggs, four large zucchini, it could be five or six if they're on the smaller side. It's going to be about eight cups of cut up zucchini, a large sweet onion, we're going to chop that up, some salt and pepper, it's about a half a teaspoon of salt, pepper to taste, three tablespoons of olive oil when we go to saute our vegetables, a cup of Parmesan Reggiano or Asiago cheese, whatever your favorite is. I'm using a 9 by 13 baking dish. And then just a large mixing bowl. We're going to whisk our eggs and cheese quickly. And then add the sauteed zucchini and onion to it right away. And then zucchini. It now, this is a family recipe of Italian descent. Um, there are different versions of torta all throughout Italy, depending upon the region. The word torta is actually of French, Spanish, Portuguese origin, and Italian as well. So that right there tells you that there's definitely going to be different versions of torta throughout the world. It's pretty much a, a fail-safe recipe. There's no way to really have this come out bad at all. That's why I love this recipe. You know, I'm very picky about my recipes. I won't even show them or spend the hours making these shows unless I know they absolutely taste incredible. So we've gone through about five, five zucchinis to make the eight cups because they're on a smaller side. So, and, you know, and it doesn't have to be exact, like I said, it's going to come out great. Whether it's seven cups, nine cups, it's not one of those things that have to be perfect. The flavors and the whole concept works no matter what you do. Okay, we have our zucchini and onion all chopped up here. We have our warm pan. I've been heating it up on a medium high heat just for about a minute. I'm going to add three tablespoons of olive oil and get our, hear that nice sound? We want to do this quickly. We don't want it to take forever. We want to start searing it and sauteing it right away. So that's why we have it on a medium, medium high heat. So this needs to saute for about 10 minutes. And I'm just going to give it a little bit of a stir every few minutes. And so while this is sautéing, I'm going to whisk up my two eggs and my parmesan and get that ready because it's going to go directly from the pan to our mixing bowl to the I'm oven. Crack my two eggs. Get those in there. We have our two eggs in our bowl. And now we are going to add our whole cup of Parmesan cheese and then I'm just going to whisk these two together. You know, and it's funny because you're going to think that there's just not enough egg in here to hold all these zucchini and onion together. But you'll be surprised how it works. Do not add any more egg because then it's going to start tasting like a frittata. So not supposed to be a frittata. It's a torta. So just whisk till smooth, and then we're going to add the zucchini and the onion. You know what's great about this recipe is you can totally make it ahead of time. Pop it in the refrigerator, and you could have a cold room temperature, or you can even heat it up again. It is absolutely delicious any of those ways. Wait till you'll see. So it's coming along nicely. I added about a quarter of a teaspoon of finely ground pepper. I'm going to add a half a teaspoon of salt, 
because it's close to the end. I'm gonna give it another stir. Okay, I've had this on medium-high heat for about eight minutes. You know, you just want it to be fork tender. Look, goes right in so nice and easy. I'm gonna take a bite. Mm, really good. The onions are sweet. The zucchini is tender and it's ready. So I'm gonna take it off the stove right now and then we're gonna add it to our egg mixture. I'm gonna get this zucchini and onion mixture that I just sauteed right into the egg mixture. Now I'm just gonna mix it up. That to the side. Mix it up right away and directly into our bowl here. You don't even need to spray that with Pam or butter the dish or anything at all. Very simple. And then we're just gonna pour right into this pan. <laughs> Get it into the pan. There we go. Oh, it smells so good. As Soon as it hit the cheese, I could smell that Parmesan. It smells out of this world. Okay, so we're just gonna like this. Smooth it out. Just making sure it's all mixed together. And what you could actually do is just, just shake the pan a little bit back and forth like this. And that really helps to assure that it's, it's pretty even. I'm gonna pop it in the oven for about 30 minutes. You're gonna see the edges get a little bit golden and then it's gonna be done. Okay, they just, just came out of the oven. It is really beautiful. Can you see how golden it is? This is the zucchini torta. I'm gonna let it cool for a little bit, and then I'm gonna slice it into squares. Beautiful torta. Um, you know, I usually cut this into squares. It's nice and golden. I let it cool for a few minutes, probably like 15, 20 minutes, and then we're gonna plate it up. So I plated up all these squares of zucchini on this platter here. Don't they look beautiful? And they are so good. You are going to love these. So here's the best part, eating the torta. It is like a finger food when you serve it up for an appetizer. Just pick it up with your hands. Mmm, oh my goodness. So good. You're gonna really, really like this. It's creamy. The vegetables are not mushy. They're absolutely delicious. Really, really good. Your guests, well, finish the whole plate and then they're going to ask you what it is because they won't know if it's a frittata and they probably don't know it was a torta. That's creamy so awesome. and delicious. You're going to love this recipe and it's so quick and easy to make especially if you can make it a day ahead of time. You can find the recipe at thetravelingepicurean.com and thank you so much to my followers and my subscribers for making this one of the most viewed recipes on my website. Have a great day. Ciao.